Hello, y'all on YouTube. This is Rob with Rob's Nerdy Knives. Today, a very interesting unboxing for you. Something that came in from the Apex Pass Around. I believe this is a knife provided by one of our knife vendors. And let's get right into this. Today, I'm opening up with my Griffin Company, the Scout F3. Cool little knife. This is the all titanium, stone washed version. I like this a lot. Just did an unboxing on this one. Let's get into the box here. Make sure, oh, make sure there's no names or anything on this here that gives anything away. Okay, it's just trash. All right, nothing in here. All right. All right, this is coming in from another one of the people in my my uh, pass around. Um, Everyday City Carry. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to check them, check them out. Everyday City Carry, awesome channel. Really good stuff. Great content. He's out of New York. Just really a super cool guy and his wife. Really, really liked him. All right, this is the Benchmade Claymore. This is a black class. Very, very cool knife. So this was provided to us, uh, well, I believe by Benchmade, and then it was uh, provided out to um, one of one of the people that works directly with Benchmade. And I'm trying to make sure I say the knife channel correctly. And I'm looking up on my wall of stickers because I have one of his stickers, I know, and I put it up there. Yeah, Zach Stuff. Zach Stuff. If you haven't had a chance to check Zach Stuff out, definitely check him out as well. All right, so let's get into this. Been wanting to look at this one. This looked really interesting. So let's take a look. Now it's typical Benchmade. You get the little bag, zippered pouch. I used to have a ton of Benchmades. And then for some reason I got rid of all my Benchmades because I had so many and I thought, oh, I don't need these Benchmades. And I have one left. I have the... the uh, Benchmade 535-4, it's the bug out with the aluminum mill scales. Love that knife. I'm looking to get my Adamas replaced. I want another Adamas back. So this looks like this is the auto. This is the Claymore, right? Where are we? Yeah, this is the Claymore. So this should be an auto. And I don't know if this is the lock or unlock. It's red, let's see. That's the unlock position, so it's ready. All right, oh, it's a beautiful Tonto. Look at that, with that, uh, uh, looks like, a, I don't know what they call this. Um, Oh, I know it's like a super hard kind of a PVD coating on here. And this is the CPM D2. So this is CPM D2, which is very different than D2. This is not ingot D2. All right, it does lock up. And this is the lock position, so it doesn't disengage the lock when you do that. But then it does here. Nice grip. Medium to medium large hands. Look at all the room I have on here. So large hands width wise. So definitely if you have extra, extra large, double extra large hands, you will have room. Could you choke up here? You could. Definitely can come up here for like a cut. And let's see, does this lock it in place so we don't disengage? Yeah, that does lock it in place, that's nice. Now, okay, we don't have blade rock necessarily back and forth, but we do have lock, lock. So it is a button lock in, in the true sense, like a, like a button lock, except this, this has a spring, so it's loaded on here and it does open it up like that. So when you do that, you gotta make sure you've got a good grip on here. And typically I use the clip, make sure my fingers on here and over here like this. And I make sure I have a little leverage with my fingers. So when I'm doing that, I've got it in hand. It's not gonna release and drop it, right? But you do have a little little bit of move there, movement there. Let's see, how's the centering on this one? Looks pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty dead center. Now I believe this is um, polymer. I'm not sure if this, these are G10 scales. I think this is a polymer. U.S. manufacturing, so it's U.S. made, made by the way. If you didn't know, bench made, U.S. made. These are all T6s here. This is, looks like a T8 for sure. We got the typical deep milled pocket carry clip. This is a typical um, bench made clip, but it is very deep carry, so it's almost indiscreet and hidden. I do like the Tonto shape. It's a single, it's flat grind on both, but it's you know got a very distinct point there, which is nice, very long point. So that's really cool. Definitely allows you to have two cutting points right here and here. So this comes to a pretty strong tip, which will be great for getting into boxes, you know, dog food, cat food, uh, fertilizer, mulch, whatever you're trying to get into. But it does lock in place. I do like that. And that seems to engage pretty well, and I like that. That's that's red is for hot. You know, it's available. It's ready to go. And then no red means it's locked in place. You're not going to be able to get to it, right? So that's nice. All right. Let's talk a little bit about, about the rest of the knife here. So good chamfering all the way around. You can definitely see this is the injected kind of polymer. You can see the very kind of a little fold over that you get on plastic right there, which is kind of unfortunate. You know, I, I, I think the price range is gonna be pretty high on this one. Some people will call it overpriced, but you know, 
I mean, take it for what you want. This is Braille. I'm not sure exactly what that means. Somebody could tell me down below if you know Braille. But I think it's supposed to say something, so I don't know. Uh, got some nice texturing. It is rounded all the way around. Got some uh, jimping up here, so you got some nice uh, jimping here. Some jimping here, your hand's not going to slip. If you reverse, you got a little jimping here as well for a push cut. You could definitely do a pull cut into like something. You're pulling into a cardboard box or something. Um, clip will work fairly well. It should. Now the only thing is it's got this little dimple stuff here, and that's going to be a little bit of a pocket shredder. I, I'm not a big fan of that. I always like something that goes with the lines, you know, the texture that's not as harsh. It does have some nice texture on here, so your finger can definitely hold on to it. It's not going to just slip right off. And let's look at the engagement onto that tang of the bar, um, tang of the bar from the actual plunge lock there. Get my flashlight here. Whoops. All right, so let's see, where, where are we at? So the part that actually engages looks like it's about 50%. So it's a pretty solid connection there, right? It's definitely gonna hold its, its own. Now there's a polymer grip, so I don't know how strong that is. There's no steel bar inserts in there that goes all the way to the back. It does have a polymer insert right here. There's a part of a steel part up here where, where that goes. And I think, does it, yeah, the steel bar insert does go to this to here. So this is steel right here. So that's reinforced. Back here, it's gonna be polymer. So, you know, take it for what it is. It's still pretty strong, but you know, if you're dealing with super hot or something, you could have a stress point there. Excuse me, sorry. Long day, I had to get up super early for my son in high school. School's about to start up for my boys. So anyways, I forget what they call this. They put this on the crew wear blades on the Damas. Uh, does it say on here? No, it just says bench made. Patent D C C P M D two and a big old bench made a logo, so yeah, I mean it's comfortable. Let's see that the the clip's not going to be a hot spot or anything like that. The you know this plastic because it's molded, it's always super sharp. You know, and if I was keeping this, I would probably soften this all the way around if I took the scales apart. But it's an auto, so taking an auto part can always be challenging. But I might just soften all of that. That's just too sharp. That's not my knife. I can't do anything to it. This is part of the pass around. Benchmade allowed us to have it. But I can definitely see this is functional. I, mean, I don't remember the price on this one. I'll have to look that up and at least provide you a link to where you can get one. I'm um, sure you can get it at Blade HQ. By the way, I'm an affiliate with them now. So you could check out my uh, Blade HQ affiliate link. Uh, I also have an affiliate with Blade Ops and I also have a, uh, an affiliate with. Uh, um, um, uh, blade, uh, blade GP, GP. Oh my goodness! I just went blank. Um, I can't remember, guys. I'm sorry. It's been a long day today. I got up super early for my boy, so I'm trying to think of it. GP knives. Sorry, GP knives. I believe that's that's correct. If I'm if I'm incorrect, I'm going to tell you here in just one second, because I feel a little bit like a dummy here not remembering that. So let's take a look. Uh, I'm going to try to find it real quick for you guys. All right, it is, is it GP Knives? Yeah, GP Knives, that's it, GP Knives. It's down in the link in the description, so check it out. Um, I also have a 10% coupon off at uh, White Mountain Knives. Check them out as well. If they have this, you get 10% off. I mean, I don't get anything out of it except, you know, you get 10%, but, you know, sometimes White Mountain Knives allows me to check out some knives as a result of people checking them out as a result of the link. So that's cool, and I appreciate it. I actually got to check out a knife from them recently because of that, so thank you. Anyways, so there you go. This is the Benchmade Claymore, right? Clay, Claymore. This is the 907, 907, 9071BK-1. So this is kind of that green, kind of a, how do we call it? It looks like olive green, but you know, uh, FRN scales with the lock there and everything. Works pretty nice. Pretty robust tip, looks like about 0.12 inches here. It's uh, D2, so CPM D2, which is a powdered version of the D2, so it's a better steel, certainly a better steel. You're getting up to, with the, C with the powder steel from what I understand, and you guys can correct me, but I'm pretty sure I'm remembering this correctly, but D2 in the CPM D D2 version is close to 154, because it is powdered steel, and, and may not be as resistant, uh, um, corrosion resistant, but it is still very, very good. It's much stronger. Better edge retention, I believe, so that's nice. It's certainly above a budget steel, that's for sure. It's a much better steel by all, by all stretch of imagination. Now, uh, 154CM and CPM 154 are relatively close, 
but the powder version of D2 is supposed to be a lot, a lot better than just a regular ingot version of the D2. Very different, okay? So that's nice. All right, so we do have four screws all the way around. Like we talked about the jimping, the contoured shape. Talked about the clip. On this side, we actually have one, two, three, four. We have four plus the two, so six screws. That's a captive pivot, that's nice. Um, the edge is pretty even. It's a pretty decent edge on both sides. Pretty sharp, yeah. It's got a nice tip there, so that's good. Certainly has a lot of potential in that. It's a pretty big knife. We'll measure it and do our review, but it, it is definitely not a small knife. Definitely about eight and a half inches on this one, right? So it's, it's a pretty, pretty good sized knife. You definitely have lots of room for that. So interesting, interesting blade. Um, like I said, those liners, the FRN does give it a little bit of lightness. It does take a lot of you know weight for a large knife like this. So there's the benefit of that, if that's more important. Um, I wish the scales were just a little bit nicer, probably for the price of what you're paying. It would be nice, right? So it's a pretty strong um, out the side automatic. Uh, it's not certainly as strong as my McNeese uh, Mac 2 3.5 or my Protec TR3. Those are by far probably the two best out the side automatics that I have for sure. But it's not bad. It's typical. Now, a lot of people who are Benchmade fans will love this. It does have a swedge, by the way. I forgot to point that out, so you can navigate a little cut to kind of have some turns there. It is a flat grind. It's not all the way to the top, so it comes. It's you know it comes to a pretty thin edge, but it you know it's it's a quick a quick drop to that edge. It's not a long thin edge, so you you know it's not going to be. It'll slice for sure because it's not super super thick, but it's not super thin all the way through. So that's that'll work for sure. So that's nice. Um, yeah, I like this. I mean, it, it, you know, we have to figure out after I do the review what the price is and is it worth it, but you know, it's cool. It's definitely cool. I mean, I have a little soft spot in my heart for Benchmade because one of my first really higher end knives I got into, I did like them a lot. Um, you know, they're the ones that kind of got me going with all this. And then I got into, you know, ZT and kind of the road I took. Excuse me. I am so sorry. Like I said, I got up early. Um, but yeah, I mean, am I going to tell you that you could get better for less? Yeah, you can, yes, no doubt. But it is Benchmade, and there's something to be said about buying USA. You're not going to find super cheap, you know, made in the USA. Now, Hogue definitely blows them out of the water, I have to say. I suspect, you know, if you like the aesthetic of this a lot, that that's going to be your number one call. And if you're a big fan of Benchmade, you're going to like this a lot. If you don't care whether it's Benchmade, Hogue, or anybody else, I don't know if this will be as appealing to you. But, I mean, it does feel like a pretty good knife overall. Uh, my biggest gripes, you know, in my first impression unboxing is the FRN scales. They're a little edgy on the side. I wish that was a little bit better. The That lock does shake a little bit. It doesn't feel like it's tight there. But there's no blade-to-blade -blade play rock. So I know it's not the... And I think this is phosphor bronze. I'm pretty sure that's phosphor bronze. Let's take a look. Where's my, I put my flashlight away. Oh, here it is. I'm pretty sure that's phosphor bronze. Yeah, that's phosphor bronze. It's not, it's not cage ceramic ball bearings. I don't know if Benchmade does any cage ceramic ball bearings. They may, but I don't know of them off the top of my head. But, you know, so, you know, they, their automatic does have to go on a phosphor bronze. So, <sighs> Sorry again, that could cause a little extra resistance and maybe not be as strong as a deployment, right? If you were to take this apart and polish them, it may have seemed like a little stronger deployment. That is absolutely a possibility with this knife. So, anyhow, um, pretty cool, pretty interesting. I'm glad I got a chance to check it out. You know, um, we'll talk more about it in our full review. Impressions are okay, not bad. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll get a chance to get to know this knife a little bit more, and then we'll talk some more about it. Hey, if you have any questions about this knife, this unboxing, or any questions you want me to maybe address in my review, please comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you have any questions for the channel, any future uh, videos, maybe on Rob's ramblings that you'd like to see, please comment as well. I do try to answer all my comments and get, be, stay in touch with you. That's my favorite part of the channel is being able to talk to you guys. So I do appreciate that. And if you found this interesting, informative, fun, 
worthwhile or entertaining, would you please consider hitting the like button down below? And then if you've already hit the like button, would you consider hitting the, subs the subscribe button? Subscribing and liking the videos really helps out the channel, allows me to produce more content, do more things, just allows the channel to grow. And I very much appreciate that. And if you've done all that, maybe consider hitting the notification button as well so you can be notified of future content when it is available. Hey, and if you've done all that, maybe check me out over on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives knives again that's on instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives hey thanks so much for watching today have a great day and a great week bye